Life is a gift, but it's a gift for the ones that wants to enjoy the gift, the ones that wants to spend time with Hashem. If you don't really want to spend time with Hashem, no matter where you're going to be, in the biggest shul, in the holiest community, you're not going to grow. You can see many people that can spend years and years in front of open Gemara, in front of open books, and they don't catch anything. It's empty people, empty, hollow souls, the dark people that... Why? Because they're stubborn. They didn't came to learn. And you can see a person that goes in the streets and he's like, you, you're going to say he's off the derech, he's out of the right way, he's not serving Hashem. And you're going to see that that person is a beam of light. He's, a, he's shining to the world with his good manners, with his, he's so polite and so kind and helping others and supporting. There is a story in the Gemara on a righteous man that walked with Eliyahu and Avi, Eliyahu the prophet. And he's asking Eliyahu, please show me the ones that have a share in the world to come. From all of the thousands of people that were standing in that day, in that hour in the market, Eliyahu and Avi shown him two people. Two people that looked to him like Goim, like that they're not Jews at all. They were Jewish, but they were acting not as Jewish. They were hiding their Judaism and they were helping their friends. Every one of them had a special story. Every one of them had something unique, something special that he was doing, hiding his Judaism because he had a purpose to save souls, to save people. So what is the path of your life? Who are you? What's your mission? You... For a person, it's very easy to think for himself, okay, I must change myself. I must be a better person, so it means that I need to change my outfit, it means I need to go to do other things in life, it means that I need to do more, I need to learn more, whatever, great. If that's the right thing, you should do that. But I suggest, first of all, before of trying to change yourself, to become different, to be something else, to try to check who you really are. What you're already doing in this world. Because God sent you to this world with a mission. And I think that you're in that mission long enough and deep enough to find many, many success already. How many people until today you spoke with them and you gave them the right advice, the supportive advice. How many people that were sad and depressed, you were cheering them up, you were supporting them, you were helping them. From your life experience. From your life experience, you shared from your wisdom, from your past, from what that you went through in life. 